Well, the last time, Perry, we discussed pruning, and we talked more in generalities, but uh, I'm just going to ask you a personal question because I've got this, this apple tree. It's growing way out of control. I don't even know where to start with this thing. Yeah, you know, Mike, I hear that a lot because apple trees are very common. A lot of us have them in our backyards, and because we're not sure what to do, we just leave them alone. That's right. Because they look like they're growing very well. There's lots of leaves, maybe a lot of apples, maybe too many apples. And so there's a couple of things that are very important to understand with apple trees that we want to prune them properly as we get started in the spring. And now is a great time for us to get started pruning an apple tree right before it leaves out. It's really important to understand there's two kinds of apple trees and in general terms. And you don't need to know the specific kind, but ones that produce apples on the very end of the branch, or there's another that's a spur variety which produces apples right down the whole branch. And depending on which one you have, it's important how you're going to prune it. So maybe you have pictures from last year if you recall what kind of apple tree you have. If you have the kind that produces them on the end of the branch, if you have long shoots that look like fast new growth, Fast growth is weak growth, and we're going to want to prune those off or prune them back about two-thirds. We want to do too much of that because we're going to lose the apples. The other side of that is if there's spurs down the side, we're going to prune more down the branch of the tree to do it properly. Quite complicated, Barry. Yeah. But he explains it perfectly, and I'll do it again next time on Classic Landscaping.